Hey guys, so the Shady Thrifter here today. Um, just want to say hi to everyone. And I was actually compelled to make this video today. Um, that has been a lot on my mind lately. I have been feeling some kind of way, mostly good. And I just been having some things like on my heart. Um, just in general for the last several months and i wanted to talk about it just in case um someone else was kind of feeling the same way that i'm feeling um i know my channel is more directed towards fashion and thrifting and just all kinds of stuff that you know um uh, that that people like to do i, I don't want to just limit my channel to thrifting and fashion, but also vlogging and lifestyle and, um, you know, just talking to other women like myself who may be, you know, past 50 years old. I'm actually 51. Um, yeah, and I have three grown daughters and I just wanted to talk about just life and some of the things that I have been experiencing as I've gotten older, as I've evolved as I've um, tried to come more into myself. Um, and what I'm noticing is a big, big, like, downside of being older and trying to level up uh, spiritually, you know, mentally, just, just trying to come into myself. I mean, I have been raising kids for over 30 years i have three daughters as i mentioned before who are now all grown and finally out on their own i also have a grandson and at one time in my life i had a ton of friends i mean a ton i literally was the only child for many years um and and therefore a big part of my um peer socialization i had to go out and literally make friends in order to have peers um and and therefore um yeah i had a lot of friends and so you know i used to be very 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 tiny like skinny bony skeletor tiny and you know i still would you know meet guys and i it didn't to me it didn't affect my dating lifestyle my friendships you know, I did have insecurities because one thing about the African American community, um, they are very on voluptuous. They want you to be voluptuous. They want you to have curves a lot. I'm not gonna say all, but most men, you know, and women cater towards a curvaceous body, whether it's healthy or unhealthy. They do tend to stray or sway in that direction. So for me, I mean, it didn't create a lot of external insecurities, but I think it did create a lot of internal insecurities because people would literally make me feel as though I was too small or like ill yuck, you know, like just made it seem like being small it was a problem when actually it was better for my health it was better for finding clothing that fit it was all around better and i think it was more culture in the community that I, that i was raised in who would try to make me feel as though something was wrong with me but fast forward most importantly the reason i'm making this video is because now that I'm older and I realize um, how shallow and surface level a lot of my thinking was back then, I realized that I'm losing friends. Now that I'm more secure, I've corrected the things about me that made me feel bad about myself. Um, I'm setting boundaries. I'm not just being a giver anymore now you have to i have to be re, re things i'm just trying to figure out is it me or the, are uh, other women and men feeling the same way like once you come into who you are and who 
you know, yourself and your confidence, you start losing friends. It's almost like they, they get, I don't want to use the word jealous because I don't feel like I have anything that no one else has, but I do know for sure that people switch up on you. Like people who you think are your best friends, are your close friends, you know, family will use you and be, abuse you. Like, I just realized one day that I'm always giving and never receiving. And that just came into a, a, a time in my life to say, like, girl, you don't need to be buying friendship. Stop buying friendships because people will literally take until they can't take anymore. And still talk about you or still complain about you. And one thing about me, I'm very outspoken, but I'm also a sweetheart. Like I'll do anything for anybody if I can, but people will actually take advantage of you. And so it was, I just felt compelled to make this video because I don't know if other people were, are like having some of these same thoughts. I mean, like for instance, I'll go to everybody's events, but then when I have an event, people don't come to mind. Well, people will come, but I'm saying the people who I thought were my friends or who I praise the most aren't there. It's like all the new people, all the people, the new friends since I turned like 50. All the people I've met in the last 10 years are like my biggest fans, my biggest supporters. But the people who I grew up with, who I call like best friends, have changed. They are just so envious and jealous. But then you look up and they trying to be you. They want to be skinny. They want to be, you know, fly and fashionable, you know. But they don't want to give you any credit. Like, it's sick. And I'm noticing that in today's world, people are sick. Like, it's a lot of narcissism. People are selfless. They don't have any empathy. They don't care. It's all about them and, you know, who who they want to, who they, what, what can I get? And it's just like, I'm just, I'm really over it. And right now, I'm in a phase of my life where I'm going to do me and I'm going to love on those who truly and genuinely love on me and people can say what they want to say about me but the shady thrifter is going to live her life i'm going to continue to be glamorous i love fashion if you can't take it then don't 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 follow my social media don't don't look at me don't don't i can't stand fake love Let's be done with the fake love in 2024. Let's leave that in 2023 and beyond. Because nowadays people are dying so like young. And honestly, I just don't have time. 2024 for me has been a world of change. In these 11 days, I just, I'm so... For once in my life, I'm happy. And I just feel so in touch with God's presence that I honestly don't, don't care about anyone other than the ones who love me and who I love. All that other BS and drama, I am done with it. So if you are watching this and you are like one of my undercover haters, um, who don't like me, one, why are you watching? And two, get a life, get a life, find yourself, find your peace is what I'm going to say. Find your peace because peace don't come inside of a man, within a man, a relationship. It don't come from material things. It don't come from, um, you know, like where you live or it comes from within. So until you find peace within yourself, there will be no peace anywhere else. And that's what I had to realize, that I'm not responsible for other people's happiness. I'm responsible for my happiness. And yeah, the well is dry. The well has run dry. So listen, 
I was in a relationship for five years, over it. I don't feel as though I got to prove anything to anybody. I don't care about anything other than my own peace, my daughter's peace, my family's peace and happiness. And everybody else can pretty much kick rocks. But anyway, I'm not going to go on with this long negative video. I just wanted to come on here today to just say thank you for the people who are supporting me. Thank you for the people who are supporting my channel, who are invested in me. I love you and I appreciate you. And hopefully I, my, my videos and my page can teach you something about fashion, a little bit about fashion. I don't know at all. I'm still learning, but I do try to share the things that I have to offer um, to others and I also learn from others on this platform and so yes I'm wishing you all the best and stay tuned for more videos from me bye oh and here is today's thrifted outfit hope you like it <laughs>